Well, hello. Welcome back, my YouTube family. Thank you for stopping by again. I hope you had an amazing Happy New Year. This video, I took the time finally to put it together for you. Today, we're going to be talking about how I position the mics and what I'm using now. I've been recording drums with these mics for about four years. They've worked phenomenal for me. Let's get to the point. The Shure SM57 is the microphone that I use for my snare. When you buy the Shure SM57, it comes with a clip. You clip it to the rim of the snare. I personally put it on the left side of my snare drum. Like, not all the way to the left. It's under the hi-hat and you wanna make sure it's not pointing up, obviously, because you'll get too much bleed from the hi-hat. You want to make sure it's aiming at the center, not in the middle, like a little bit tilted up. No, you want to make sure it's aiming not all the way down either. You just want to make sure it's aiming at the center of the snare drum. Now let's move to the toms. For the toms, for the mounted toms, for the floor toms, the Sennheiser E604. You want to make sure it's aiming at the center of the tom. That's pretty much what you have to do for all of the toms. So later when you're mixing, you have that attack sound. The overhead mics, I'm using the Audix F15. They are condenser mics. The Audix F15, it's been working great for me. You're going to need one on the left and one on the right. So you want to make sure the microphones are at least five feet up high. I just don't want to get too much bleeding from the cymbals. For the kick drum, I'm using the Shore Beta 52A. The Shore Beta 52A, it's a great mic, awesome mic. This mic, it has a punch. At the same time, it has a nice bass. It's a great mic for any style, honestly. The way you should position this microphone depends on what style you're aiming for. If you're doing a lot of metal, I do a lot of metal as well, and I do a lot of worship and rock. For metal, you want to make sure that you have the microphone inside the hole of the bass drum. You want to make sure it's at least halfway in where the beater is hitting. You want to make sure it's aiming towards the beater so you get that more uh, attack sound from the beater and if you're doing a lot of double pedals fast double pedals i recommend you do that now if you're doing worship or rock you can have it positioned this way it will work great and honestly it all depends on how you mix later but this is how you should set it up so you get that perfect punchy kick I hope you learned something today. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'm just trying to help. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.